Welcome to History Lens. Ready to take a trip down memory lane? Let's get started. Young woman selling flowers in 1973. She was sure getting a lot of clients. A group of sorority sisters hang out in their jammies and cuddle up to their favorite soft toy for the picture. It's the 60s. A family of four sit in their car after dad has just bought everyone milkshakes at a drive-in. A young 50s couple in a home electronics shop. They are browsing for televisions while a salesman hovers close by. Brigitte Bardot, the glamour icon of the 60s. The home of the trademark Whopper. Burger King has been satisfying stomachs since 1953. Back in the 60s, modern workspaces look very different from what they do today. Believe it or not this is actually a Recordac reader printer. A young girl sitting in the dentist's chair for her routine appointment. Gloria Steinem was a 28-year-old unknown freelance journalist when she got the opportunity to go undercover at the New York Playboy Club in 1963. Astronaut Edwin E. Aldrin Jr., walking on the surface of the moon in July 20, 1969. Baby from the 50s sitting in his stylish car seat. Before CDs there were cassettes, before that, 8-tracks, and before that, cars actually could be equipped with record players. Janice Reinhardt, in a photo taken for the cover of Sports Illustrated back in 1964. Corner shop that's been plastered with Coca-Cola ads, on and every square inch in 1960. A typical wedding day in the 70s. Going to the gym in the 60s usually meant going to the YMCA. Pictured here is the check in desk at the Vineland. Fashion models wearing brightly colored metallic mini dresses in 1966. Happy prep school friends from the 50s. If you wanted to listen to music in the 1970s on your cassette player, you had to clean it occasionally. Gizmos like this were supposed to be used after 10 runs. In 1968 in California, Charles Manson began attracting a group of followers that would come to form a cult known as the Manson family. This photo depicts two generations sitting on a London bench in the famous uptown Chelsea neighborhood. In the 60s, fantasizing and imagining what kind of future awaits us was a big thing, encouraged by the strides made in space travel. In the 50s, people would bring their new convertibles right up to the shoreline and frolic with friends and family. In the 50s, supermarkets had a reputation for being large and selling products in bulk-sized quantities. This is how you really partied back in 1956. A couple has a few drinks at the bar in San Diego, California with a friend. In the summer of 1967, thousands of people poured into California's Bay Area for what would be several months of utopian style of hippie living. It's 1969, and fashion music and technology was making bounds and leaps. These girls from Beverly Hills High, were treating every day at school like it was fashion week. Line of young adults, waiting to get ice cream from the ice cream truck. Photo from the 50s, shows a group of young debutante women at a cocktail party. This was the sought-after style of the decade. 
Mountain Dew Soda sported this logo through 1969. When it was purchased by the Pepsi-Cola company, the old logo was replaced by one more reflective of the psychedelic era. One of the most popular TV shows of the era, was a game show based on tic-tac-toe. Hollywood Squares premiered in 1966. Piano man Billy Joel, reclines in his first-class airline seat in 1978. Real nostalgic throwback to the public libraries of the 70s. Stylish air stewardesses waiting to board a plane in 1971. They were working for Delta Airlines. Slot machine players are shown in Atlantic City in 1978, not long after casino gambling opened in the city. The first Super Bowl, which was close to being dubbed the big one before it got its name, was played on January 15, 1967. These 70s kids are running down the street, excited to try and fly their kite. Four young girls in the 70s, have opened up their path of freshly developed pictures. These two kids, are getting hands-on with their Estes model rocket kit and launcher. Back in the 70s. This was actually the economy cabin of the Economy 747. There was colorful seating, tall ceilings and two flight attendants in pink berets. Thank you for watching. See you next time.